Hey guys, Bitpixel here, and uh, today we're doing the maze, Keeper of Doom, and this game is made by the same people as a very organized thief, so I thought we should try it out, because maybe it's as good, maybe it's worse, I don't know, let's see the options real fast, let's make sure everything's on something I'd like, I'm just not gonna mess with the uh, graphics or anything, just so, just in case. Mode, Keeper, find the key and escape the maze, but however, everything is a little relaxing, find the key and escape the maze. Let's go ahead and do escape. Let's do small to start off with. I don't know if I can use my controller because this is in browser. I'll send a link to the game to play. It isn't okay. I that's weird. So I can use my walk around, but I can't use anything else. So let's see if I can find this. Uh, where my keys here? Here we go. All right. So is there a sensitivity button? And put sensitivity. Let's turn this up. I like it. Roll up. Back. Continue. Alright, here we go. Sensitivity is turned up. Pick up a stone. E to interact. What's the point of this? This is like slow me down or something. Cue the throw stone. Ah, that's interesting. This is actually really interesting. It doesn't look like it's going to be a scary thing like Thief was. Which I don't know if Thief was meant to be scary. It was. I don't know if it was meant to be. Um, but this looks, uh, this looks really interesting because it like has a lot of interactions to it although I'm just in like a hedge maze but it seems cool I guess I can't do those ways and there might be a way to them or a way to do them but I don't see a way to uh to access them I want, I'm wondering what these stones are for I just uh oh this game is good because you can actually see your body when you look down it's not one of those where you just look down and there's nothing there like you're a floating head oh what the hell I'm trying to figure out what the hell Okay, well, now I'm stuck. Okay. Space bar the jump. Oh, wait, can I jump over those pits? Because, like, they look big, but maybe I can actually jump over them. I doubt it. It doesn't look like you can jump very far. I mean, there's only one way to find out, really, but... I've been to every corner of this maze that I've seen, I think. Let's try... There's nothing on the other side of this pit, but... Yeah, you can jump over it. It doesn't look like you can. Oh god, it's fucking that looks like it's gonna hurt if I fall in. Uh let's see. So now that I know I can actually jump over those, let's try the fucking kid around here. Get long little doggy! Oh shit. Oh fuck. That was scary. I'm I'm kind of scared about jumping these pits. Because they look like you can't make them that well. Or they're just another I'm gonna fucking it's gonna suck if this is just a dead end or something. I bet this. I hope this game is like randomly generated. Ah oh, shit! Two paths. Ah oh, shit! They look like they. I bet they just connect. I'm gonna be so mad if that's all that happens. What happens if I have to like do this before nighttime, so that like, oh, if there's something here, it's gonna chase me in the maze. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of expecting that. So if that doesn't happen, I might be a bit disappointed. Okay, so there's the exit. Oh, there's the key. Well, that's kind of lame that they put it right in there next to the exit. That's kind of lame. I'm not, I don't really want to leave yet. I want to know if there's going to be anything in here, in this, anything in this maze with me. Well, open exit door. Hmm, that one was easy. I completed the maze in three minutes, and I walked that far. Okay, let me go to the menu and let me try uh, the biggest maze. Does it only go to large? Okay. I'm going to try large. Oh. <clears throat> it's really bright on my face, but I can't eat the rice. Oh, shit. I don't know what the point of these stones are. I hope there's, like, a point, because, like, you can pick them up and then throw them later. I don't know what the point of these stones are. Maybe you can break shit? I don't know. My eye itches, though. Uh I like how it goes nighttime though. There's like a daytime nighttime cycle. That makes it really pretty. Although, you know, it's like a real like bland coloring kind of look to it, but like that doesn't mean it's a bad game. I've never really believed that like or I've never thought that like bad graphics make a bad game because I mean, like for example, when Minecraft first came out, Evan was like, it doesn't even look like a good game. It looks terrible, boring, there's nothing you can do, but Minecraft isn't just a game of like 
of like what is there what like that there's nothing to do it's what can you make yourself do and what can you make of the game because I mean there's a lot to do in Minecraft you just have to you know remember and create your own game really be creative and I mean if you're not creative in survival and you don't know how to do they gave you a mode to do creative stuff so I mean really it is a great game it doesn't look great but I mean like I said I don't think a game has to look great that's why if I ever do like a lot of horror games on my channel, I'm probably not going to do like big like horror titles like Amnesia. I'm probably going to stick to stuff like I'm Scared or Avian, those like pixel horrors. Because I want to show that like a game doesn't have to look good to be scary. Or like RPG horrors. That's one thing. I cannot fucking... My only complaint about this game so far is I feel like something should be in the maze with me. I'm hoping that... uh something does come at night time because there was a night cycle so because I mean right now basically all this is me walking around in a maze and talking at least I have stuff to talk about but I mean I mean I haven't seen anything but like pits and corners and stones I haven't seen an exit this is basically like the game vanish except for uh, without the monster and without like a scary ambionic or ambient Ambient? I don't know. Scenery. Filling with ambiance. So it's going nighttime. I'm hoping. I'm hoping that something does come up. Like any kind of monster. Any kind of anything. Just to chase me around. <gasps> just to give me some fear. Still looking here. God. I'm basically. I feel like I'm probably walking in circles. I'm hoping that these don't like connect. Like this doesn't connect to like a earlier part of the hedge maze. It's just like it's never a point where it would seriously fuck you over that much. Oh please, oh please, don't ever fuck me over like that. Okay, I see that beam of light now. I'm wondering if that's the exit. That might be the key actually. See, I didn't notice that before. Maybe you can only see that at nighttime. I don't know. I'm gonna go towards it though and see if uh. See if I can figure out what it is and get to it. I'm guessing those torches are the exit. Which is the bad another bad thing, I guess, about this. I'm not saying this game is bad. It's pretty good so far, but I mean they're kind of telling you where to go in the sense of if that light is actually the key and if those torches are the exit. They're basically saying, Hey, this is the way you go. If you couldn't tell yourself. My nose itches. Damn. Okay. I thought I was in like a straight path going to like straight towards it, but now it looks like I don't know where the hell I'm going. Ooh, I'm lost, but I guess that's the premise of a hedge maze. And my chest itches. Why am I so itchy? Damn. There's another torch over there. That's probably the entrance. I'm gonna go this way. Ooh. Shit, shit. There we go. I think I just went in a circle. Shit, God. I want to fucking. I want to get out of here. Mm. Come on, we're getting close. We're getting, like, closer. Shouldn't say we're getting close. I feel like I'm just going in a loop now. Come on, please. Okay, we got another double jump thing here. This is starting... Ah, uh, this... I really hope this isn't what I think it is. Like, I think... I feel like I'm just going in a loop right now. Oh, please. Key? Oh, no. Come on. Ah, uh, fucking nose. Okay, I'm gonna go back and check and make sure there was uh, like I'm like an opening back here because it looked like. Okay, I can't see really. Ah, uh, yeah, they're gonna make me like walk right next to it, and now they're gonna make me go all the way back around. This looks promising. Oh shit! Here we go. My controller's lagging a bit. Not my controller, but my mouse. The controller wasn't compatible on this. Come on! Here we go! Here we go! Key, got it. Got the key. Now we just need to get to the exit, which is over there. This looks like it should be pretty straightforward from here. Also, it's also looking like um, I keep saying like, fuck. Um, trying not to do that. Um, but it looks, it looks the um, the exit. Also, um is another word. It looks like the exit is going to be back the way I came. Ah, one hand in, one hand in it because of the itch. Got the black. 
God, I'm itching it with my left, and that's just making me look like a complete creep, like creeper. God, ow! Why is it doing this to me? Why have you forsaken me, Lord? You know what suck was if I fell now and died. That would suck. Ah, God. I'm. It's like. Ah. All I gotta do is get to the exit. Also, oh, it's daytime now. It's becoming daytime. That's how long it's taken. Oh, what the hell? Okay, am, am I am I like infinitely stuck now? I don't see an exit. Is this it? This looks like it's it. Let's go this way now. Ah, oh, come on. Got a bitch of a niche going on. What are these fountains for? I'm guessing they're just scenery, but like the fact that they're there. Just and there's not much else of anything else here. It seems like it'd be part of something. Oh man, I'm lost. I'm lost. Not that I knew where I was going before, but I'm more lost than I was before, because at least I had like a straight path to take, like a relative idea of which way I should go, and now I don't. Oh, come on. I think it's this way. I think it is this way. Last time I got lucky because the key was right there next to the exit. This time, not so lucky. I guess I'm going this way. I didn't really want to go this way because it didn't look like it turned. Is this the exact same place I just came from? This is, isn't it? This is the exact same place I just came from. Yep, it is. I just walked in a circle. Just walked in a circle. So let's think about this. So I'm going to go that way. Okay, this is the same fountain I just walked into earlier that I questioned. I'm going to go this way. Okay, I think I went that way and took a right. So let's this time let's go this way. And not take a right. Oh, this is looking more promising. Oh, here we go. Got it. Found it. Uh, I wish I would have taken this way before. It made a lot more sense than the other one did. Unlock the door. And escape. So, there's that. Seven minutes. That, that, this game's pretty cool. I mean, it doesn't have much replay or anything, but I mean, it was the, it was the companies were like the developer's first, you know, project, so I don't expect it to be amazing. Uh, but it was good. I mean, for like a first thing that they ever posted, it was good. So, I mean, if, if you liked it and you just liked the like, kind of like a mini game idea, go check it out. I think it does need like more features if they plan it to be like a big game like that. But I liked it. So, um, as always, do as you please, but I wish that you subscribe. And if you like this video and enjoyed this video, go check out more because. I have more opinions to share about games and funny stuff, whatever. Um, but as always, peace and see you later.